historic moment is on the horizon for NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission. It's about to briefly touch down on the surface of asteroid Bennu to gather a sample of rock, something NASA has never done before. It's probably one of the most exciting missions that I've worked on. It is really exciting to know that we're finally going to be able to touch the surface of the asteroid and collect the sample to return back to Earth. Bennu is more than 320 million kilometers from Earth. The plan is for the OSIRIS-REx to land in a dark crater near Bennu's North Pole. Once the sample collector senses contact with Bennu's surface, it'll fire a small puff of compressed nitrogen to kick up debris and capture pieces of the asteroid. An event that lasts just a few seconds, scientists say many things could go wrong. If the spacecraft were to tip over up to 25 degrees, it could come into contact and be damaged. The OSIRIS-REx blasted off from Cape Canaveral in Florida four years ago. It arrived at Bennu in 2018 and has been mapping its surface ever since. Scientists say the sample collected may help unravel some of the mysteries of the solar system. Asteroids that are out there in space, in the solar system, are these remnants. They're, they're left over from when the solar system formed four and a half billion years ago. And so by looking at the asteroids and studying, that, studying them, we, under, we can learn and start to understand what that material was that turned into and made our planets. And so that's really, really important and fundamental to understand. If the mission is successful, the sample will be delivered to Earth in September 2023. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera. Uh, let's talk about this with Francisco Diego. He's a senior research fellow at the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University College London. That's where he's joining us from. Thanks for your time. Uh, how important and significant is this event? It is extremely important. There are a variety of aspects here. Of course, the mission itself, just to get to the asteroid is well, quite an achievement, let alone be in orbit around the asteroid for a number of months and then planning where to take these samples and finally do it in a very robotic way. It's a fascinating technology we are, we are seeing now uh, being de deployed as we speak. Uh, it's going to collect a sample with this arm that we see here on the right, uh, an arm which is about three meters long, collecting a sample by blowing, as we saw in the animation, by blowing some nitrogen and collecting this uh, sample in a little canister that we will recover from the deserts in, uh, in Northern America in three years' time and then analyze it properly. Now, the analysis of this uh, material is extremely important. It's not only giving us clues about the formation of the solar system, but we need more information about that. But the type of asteroid that has been chosen in this case is a asteroid rich in carbon. I mean, a lot of asteroids are rich in carbon. They have carbon compounds. And carbon compounds, we know they are the basic uh, ingredients for the building blocks for life. And how challenging is it going to be uh, to navigate uh, Osiris Rex onto the asteroid? Well, it has done it already. Uh, it's in orbit around, around the asteroid for several months now. And it has been actually, this uh, sample is not going to make a proper contact with the asteroid. It's just a little pad is going to contact for a few seconds, as we see now in the animation. It's going to come closer and closer. And that pad is going to contact there for five seconds and then blow some... Uh, uh, nitrogen and then uh, fly away, and that is what is uh, what is happening uh, uh, today. Uh, so, and I was reading. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the point is that is to get close to the asteroid to a few meters actually to to do the sampling. They have done a couple of tests earlier on this year. They approached to 60 meters to 40 meters just to check that everything was okay. They have some trial sort of uh, mocking uh, sampling. And now they are doing the, the, the one for good, going really go into, into uh, near the surface of the asteroid. Yeah, and I was reading that sample will be packaged for return in a capsule. It's expected to land back on Earth in September uh, 2023, that is. So once it does that, um, how does this actually advance the study of asteroid science? Well, we will find out. I mean, the material is going to I mean, it's, it's a little canister of... Uh, of uh, 60 grams, uh, which is almost nothing, but that dust is extremely valuable. It will take a few weeks, perhaps a few months, to to get some uh, positive results about the the uh, um, the characteristics of that material, the chemical composition, and essentially the abundance of uh, organic molecules based on carbon. All right, uh, Francisco Diego, thank you very much for speaking to us from London.
It's a pleasure.